Never with me, the Coventry team manager, Mick Bell. Mick, yet another week of frustration for Coventry, when yet again it seems the powers to be rule once, set of rules for eight British League clubs, and yet again another one for Coventry. That is the way it seems, you know, and um, because we've got uh, an appeal on the go, I don't think I ought to say too much, really. But you, you summed it up, I think, in one. Uh, Tommy, obviously, was the subject of that point. He's riding tonight to challenge match with permission of Bellevue, but one would imagine he will not be riding for the Bees on Monday in both matches against Cradley. That's right, he won't. And uh, basically down to his average, you know, they sort of, um, they have refused to re reassess his average. And it's crazy, really, when you think that his average at the moment is about 10.23, which is uh, much higher than the top man, Hans Nielsen. And I, don't, I think it is really, it's a shame, you know, there's, there's one or two jealous people, I think, within the sport who don't want to see Coventry and Tommy back. Special dispensation has been allocated for Samo Malenko to come in with a 750 average. He's been off the track less time than what Tommy Knudsen has. Oh, eight number three. Bill Crump and has been assessed uh, on 750. And to keep Kelly Moran in the British League, he also was assessed on 750 when he was transferred from Sheffield to the Bellevue Aces. But once again, the BSPA have ruled that Tommy Knudsen has got to ride with the average that he finished with. That's way over 10. And in fact, if he rode under that average, he would go straight to the top of the British League averages, way over Hans Nielsen's average at the present moment. So it's a tough battle for promoter Charles Ockerty to get Tommy Nielsen into the side. He's tried, he's tried with an assessed six. Chris Morton rides in yellow and black as the rider replacement. And uh, going back to Tommy Nielsen, he's tried with an assessed six average, been turned down. He's tried with 750. He's tried an 8.8 .8 and has been turned down on all those averages. And bearing in mind how all riders' averages have dropped this season due to the competitiveness of the British League, it really is a farce that Nudson has got to come in after almost two years of eviction on a 10.5 point average. A lot of interest tonight to see the return of Tommy, and I wouldn't mind betting that probably 90%, 5% of the people here tonight have not come to watch this challenge match. They've come to watch Tommy Nudson in action. Tommy, in fact, is riding one of his own bikes. He did have some new equipment ready for the start of the British League season when he smashed up in Australia. Five bikes, in fact. He has sold four, but the bike he is on tonight is a bike that he kept back, and it is a brand new Speedway machine. It's a GM engine, and Tommy Nudson lines up in gate number one. Chris Morton making an unexpected return to Coventry on gate two. Sean Wilson, gate three, and uh, Joe Screen, two riding himself back after injury. He's on gate number four, missed the match, of course, in Bellevue, was injured. Gary Hicks guest on that occasion. 
So all eyes on the number one gate at the present moment. Tommy Nutz looks like New Leathers. Tom has gone on tonight. We've already got a few sponsors on there. So that's a good start for him. He's there, gate one. Chris Morton, gate two. Sean Wilson, gate three. Joe Screen, gate four. Away. Green light sign starting Marsh. He walks away, away. And Wilson gets out with the four gate. Nutson gets out with him. Morton squeezes the line around the edge of Nutson. Nutson comes back up the inside line. But uh, Morton sweeps around Nutson. Screen follows him round. As Wilson leads into the Coventry corner then for the first time. It's uh, Morton it's, and Screen lock shoulder, shoulder for second and third. Nuts at the back and they make their way into the pits corner once again. Wilson coming under pressure from uh, Joe Screen. Morton's got the third. Nudson coming back in contention. Starting to close the gap on Morton to make their way into the Coventry corner. But Nudson goes too wide on that Coventry corner. As Wilson still then from Screen. It's Morton in third, Nuts at the back, and they make their way down the back straight once again. And Screen again, getting very close to Wilson. Nudson again makes a term and effort after Morton's third spot. As Wilson has the advantage now as they move on to lap number four. Screen in second, Morton in third. Into the pitch corner for the final time. Screen goes wide, lost out. Looks if Wilson could pick up three important points in the seat number three. Nuts again goes to the line, right around the edge of Morton. As Sean Wilson wins at race number three, Wilson wins it. Second is Joe Screen. Third spot, Chris Morton. Hudson, in fact, was first out of the gate. We know it's early days. He comes in last there in heat number three, already showing what a farce it would be to put him in with a ten and a half point average after two years' absence from British League Speedway. For heat three, a win in red for Sean Wilson. Sean's time, 63.4 seconds. Second in white was Joe Screen. And third in yellow and black, Chris Morton. The heat points were shared three all. So the progressive score now stands at Coventry 12, Bellevue 6. And uh, Sean's time, once again, 63.4 seconds. <laughs> Action for the five away they go and it's Ugon making a good game. Milson shoulder shoulder of a dive from Ugon on the outside of that pit score. This Wilson breaks clear to lead the back straight end for the first time. Ugon in second, Barker in third, Nuts at the back of their move into the Coventry corner for the complete one. Good action on the first corner between Ugon and Wilson. This Wilson has the advantage now into that pit corner for the second time. It's Ugon in second, Barker in third, Nuts and trying to split up the value pairing of Oxford Destinoids. They move into that Coppenby corner once again. Still, Wilson from Dugard. It's Barker still in third. Nutson goes a long way around the outside of that pits corner, but still Barker has hangs on to his third. But Wilson pulling well clear at the front now as they come on to lap number four. Wilson then from Barker from Dugard. Barker still in third. Nutson again rides mid track on that pits corner, trying to close up with Barker. Close up going into the corner. Can he squid on right round the outside of that Coventry corner? Second impressive win comes up for Sean Wilson. Second there is um, Martin Ugard. Third spot, it's Dean Barker. Three apiece again. Keeps it just six a difference. And uh, Coventry have 18. And the Aces have um, 12. Seconds. Second in white was Martin Duggard, 
and third in yellow and black, Dean Barker. Eight points were shared three all, so after five races, the score stands at Coventry 18, Bellevue 12. And short time once again, 64 seconds. Well, heat uh, number six now, and the, the addition to the programme at number six, Richard Musser. Cosa Chaos tonight in Speed Square. Um, after the match, main match, during the interval, the second edition of A Taste of Honey, Coventry Speedway uh, fan magazine. So, Sean Wilson is going to have gate number one. Lots well, of Martin Dugard's going to have gate number two. Tom yellow and black, Willie Martin Dugard. And is going to have gate number four. And they two and throw before moving the line for race nine. Wilson de Gardnerson and um, Morton green lights on away and uh, Dugard making a good gate. Wilson squeezes to on the inside. Morton works the line round Dugard, gets around Nudson, gets around Wilson as well. And it's Morton who leads in the back straight the first time. And Nudson screws it on around the outside. Dugard takes along the Nudson one, but that was more like the old Tommy Nudson. Went for a gap on the inside line. And now he's got the bit between the teeth, trying to get inside Dugard. Gets inside Dugard and that pit score goes too wide. Dugard comes back up the inside line, but Nudson, can he pick up his first point in the meeting? As Morton then from Wilson, it's Nudson third, Dugard at the back and they come on to lap number three. Chris Morton, what an impressive job he's doing for the ace again tonight. He's well away now with his uh, race number nine, it's Wilson second, Nudson in third. Dugard at the back, Wilson starting to peg back the ground on Morton, goes to run round the outside, but Morton covers that move as they move on to lap four. Still Morton from Wilson, Nudson in third. Dugard tailed off the back, so Tommy Nudson's going to pick up his first point. It'll be a paid second spot unless Wilson can get by Morton on this last corner. Wilson screws it on right round the outside of the Cobney Club, and Morton covers it. Chris Morton wins it. Second is Sean Wilson. Third spot, Tommy Nudson, and shades of the old Tommy Nudson there. Moved to the outside, cut back to the inside line, made a sharper gate, and clearly put on a lot more in that race. The gap was there, he bravely went through it, and his first point... Win there for Chris Morton. What a superb job he's doing for the Aces tonight. Second beaten for the first time tonight is Sean Wilson. These two come round the track together. Good hand for both. And some more good action there in race number nine. Well, heat nine and a win in white for Chris Morton. Chris's time, 64 seconds. Second in red for the bees, Sean Wilson. And third in blue, Tommy Knudsen. Eight points were shared, three also. The progressive scores after nine races stand at Coventry, 31 points. Bellevue, 23. And uh, Chris Morton's time once again. <laughs> Calvin Tatum first to the gate in gate number two for heat time. Tommy Nudson with gate number four. Thanks. One's memory back to the number of times they lined up for crucial last heat deciders in the championship years and the number of times they got maximum points to win these those matches. So Jeff Screen comes into one. Calvin Tatum in two. Impressive Chris Morton three. Tommy Knudsen gate number four. Winning for 
Knudsen and Moore to settle in four and three, respectively, for this race 12. Green lights on. Ian Howell away, and Tatum's made a good gate screen, and Morton here with Knudsen goes for line round the outside, he gets squeezed out there by Morton. As, Nud as Tatum then from Morton, Nuts, uh, screening for Knudsen, trying to get between them again as they move into the cotton de corner then for the first time. Tatum looks behind him, you see the two Valvia boys out in second third, Knudsen goes for line in front of screen, screen goes wide to block Knudsen, Knudsen cuts back for an inside pass, he's got the run, back up the end, of screen and move for a good third spot, good riding there by Knudsen, took his time, picked his line back from on the inside, as Tatum then from Morton, Knudsen third, it's screen at the back, and Knudsen to me seems, each time he's out, seems to be getting just that little bit quicker, as Tatum just ahead of Morton, it's Knudsen in third, screen at the back, and that's the order coming through to move on to a lap number four. Tatum again, look behind. I think he's doing just enough to kick back the challenge of Chris Morton. Knudsen still in third, screen goes for a wide attack right round the outside of that pitch corner, but Knudsen's going to hang on to a third spot. And here comes Morton, a late run right round the outside. Has Tatum gone to sleep? No, he just about covers Morton's challenge. As Tatum wins it, second Chris Morton. Third spot, Tommy Knudsen, shades again of the old Tommy Knudsen. He was took out by screen, he took his time, cut back for an inside pass, moved sweetly inside screen, and got a good third spot there in race number 12. Morton and Tatum both get applause there as they make their way back up into the pits and there will surely be applause for Tom and and this time for the first time tonight takes the long way around and gets a good hand there for his point and picks up in race number 12. Lots of more great speed right down here number 12 and a win in red for Calvin Tatum. Calvin's time, 64 seconds. So as the bees come round for a victory lap, and uh, it's nearly three months since that's happened, let's run down the individual score chart. Um, starting with, the, with the, the bees, Kelvin Tatum, five starts, 15 point maximum. Well done, Kelvin. Roman Matasek, six plus two bonus from four starts. John Jorgensen, 11 plus one bonus from five starts. Tommy Knudsen. Chris Morton. Superb effort from Chris on uh, what could be his final meeting here at Coventry as he's announced his retirement at the end of the season. 15 points plus two bonus from seven starts. Well done, Chris. Joe Screen, four points from five starts. Richard Musson, one point from four starts. And Peter Orne, nine points from six starts for a total of 34 points. Now got with me, probably one of the most pleasing sights that Coventry fans have seen this season, Tommy Knudsen in a Coventry race jacket. Tommy, it's superb to see you back. How did it go tonight? I would have liked a few more points, but uh, I'm just glad to get the first meeting out of the way. Um, I feel very tired now. I'm not fit, fit enough for racing, so I must go out and uh, do quite a lot of uh, practice for the next couple of weeks. And also, uh, some more jogging and weightlifting, but I've only really had 10 days to get ready. Uh, I felt pretty good. I just, I didn't make any good starts, and uh, I just, I didn't want to take any big chances in my first meeting. But um, I felt quite good. You seemed to get better as each race went by. At the third and fourth rides, you saw your chance went through and picked up a couple of good third places. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I mean, I, I was last out the start four times tonight, and uh, it was nice to. I know it's only two points, but uh, I had to work for them. It was very easy. 
And obviously, Mr. Ockletree trying to get you in, but once again, it seems one set of rules for eight clubs and one set of rules for Coventry, and he's having great difficulty getting you into the side. Yeah, it's, it's uh, crazy, really. I mean, I've been out for two years, and uh, even if you forget about my injury and uh, the absence for two years, I mean, all, all the averages of all the top riders has dropped by about one point. That's due to the fixed starting positions which came into effect last year. Whereas before all the heat leaders used to take the best start and now they can't. So even if you take that into consideration, they should drop it at least the one point. And obviously you won't be able to ride for the bees on Monday, so how are you going to keep fit, Tom? Are you going to practice here with some of the riders or what exactly are your plans going to be until you can get into the side? Well, I'll, I'll uh, be practicing next week and then uh, I'll probably go to Denmark um, maybe the day after the World Final uh, to practice there a couple of times during the week because I'm doing a, a big meeting at Boyne's on the 7th and uh, it would be nice to be picked for the World Team Cup as well. I mean, I don't really expect to, to be picked, but... I spoke to the Danish team manager last week and uh, he, he would like me to back, be back in the side. And obviously news of your parents, how they took it, Tom, with the fact you're back in action. I'm a little bit surprised possibly Dad wasn't here to see you tonight. If uh, we'd known I was riding tonight, he would have been here. He was going to come over on Thursday, but then I didn't think I was riding, so he cancelled it. Otherwise, he, uh, he would have been here to watch the first meeting. But uh, they took it pretty well. When I uh, told, told my parents, they said, well, if that's what I want to do, they would support me. Obviously, they'd, they'd rather that I didn't ride, but uh, they took it pretty well. And one thing was to show you certainly had the crowd on your side again tonight. Yeah, it was great. It was nice to see a few people here. Uh, although it's only a challenge match, um, it's just great to be back. Now I just want to try and get back into to the fitness again and uh, become race fit. Anyway, many congratulations, Tommy, and let's hope it's not long before you see Ronnie the Bees in the British League again. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tom.